It'll be an absolutely brilliant race. The crowd know it. Us in the commentary box know it. And we'll tell you what, the athletes on the track here from lanes two to nine know it as well. Absolute all of them, all world class. So in lane number nine, she was the slowest qualifier for this final, but just outside two minutes, the national record holder from Australia, Katrina Bissett. In lane number eight, Halima Nakai of Uganda, their national record holder, qualified fourth for this final. 158 at her best. And listen to the roar that the Birmingham crowd are giving Keely Hodgkinson. Olympic silver, world silver, 155.88 at her best. Notoya Gould of Jamaica. Bronze, as I mentioned back in 2018, fifth at the recent world championships. Mary Morder of Kenya, dangerous, starts in lane number five. Bronze at the recent world championships, just three tenths behind Keely Hodgkinson in that race. Laura Muir of Scotland. Olympic silver in Tokyo over the 1500 meters, world championship bronze last month, dropping down in distance, which is a 156 runner. A smile from Alex Bell of England, she'll start in lane number three, fifth at the Commonwealth Games in 2018. And completing the lineup in this women's 800 final, Lindsay Butterworth of Canada, two minutes in qualifying. The semi finalist at the World Championships in 2019. So, the Women's 800 Commonwealth Final, the Olympic 800 meter silver medalist, taking on the Olympic 1500 meter silver medalist, and keep your eye on Gaul and Mora. So, the gun goes. Expect Natoya Gaul of Jamaica to go out hard. Mora, though, is setting her stall out early, going down the back straight already, the Kenyan in lane number five. Here we go, Rob, down the back straight for the first time. Mora is not afraid to go to the front, and this is fast. Remember, the Kenyan leading started her career with a silver medal over the 400 metres. She had a good look over her Maybe. shoulder there. She's really laying down the gauntlet here to Keely Hodgkinson, and she has beaten the young English woman this season. She's strong, she's powerful, and the Kenyan will also be full of confidence after smashing her PB to get on the podium. Laura Muir yet to make her move, and on the inside, Gould still very much in the mix. It's all teed up for a big, big last lap. Gould takes the lead at the bell, 56 and a half seconds. Gould of Jamaica, Hodgkinson in second. Laura Muir, Chat tracking Hodgkinson in third. Mora dropping right back after that first fast 400 metres. Natoya Gaul, the Jamaican then, was the fastest qualifier for this 800 metre final. Hodgkinson making a move onto the shoulder of Gaul. Laura Muir on the inside line in third. 200 metres to go. Mora coming back. But my goodness me, she's got a huge amount of ground to make up. Gould is holding the inside line, Hodgkinson on her shoulder, can she do it? So often it's been silver, is it going to be gold tonight? Hodgkinson, Gould on the inside, Moore is pushing, Laura Muir still got a bit in the tank, the Scottish star, but Keely Hodgkinson grits her teeth, but back from nowhere, the Kenyan Mary Mora, 157.07, Keely Hodgkinson will pick up another silver medal at a major championships. But wow, the way the Kenyan Mary Mora ran that race to win the gold medal was absolutely astonishing, but outstanding. What a strange, strange way to do it. The dance of delight and the gold goes to Mora. She set the pace at 200 miles clear of everyone else when they came through at the bell she let literally the entire field go in front of her she came storming back round the last bend and by the way the reason the result hasn't come up we've got a furious photo finish between Gould and Muir I couldn't call it on the line very very tight Laura Muir might might have picked the Jamaican 
on their independence day but it was so close you just couldn't tell to the naked eye and it's flashed up it looks like they've given it to laura muir silver to the english woman bronze to the scot that must have come down to thousands of a second but catherine keely hodgkinson will view that as a missed opportunity Mora was all over the place and left herself a mountain to climb, but somehow she did it. 157.87 for Laura Muir, 157.88 for Natoya Gall and Keely Hodgkinson. Well, it was silver at the Olympics last year, silver at the World Championships recently, and silver again here at the Commonwealth Games. Mary Mora ran the race it, it must have been the plan rob it must have been i'm going to take it out hard and go through 400 meters then i'm going to drop back this was with 300 meters to go it's like she was toying with the field and this was the plan and it worked out perfectly well she she let literally the entire field come past her having done a really fast first 200 at this point you think ghoul has a look she's she's tense Hodgkinson, you think, has the beating of Gould at this stage. Laura Muir's got stamina to burn, so she's not out of it at this point. Moore has got this really deceptive, backward-leaning style when you think she's used up all her energy. And she came, and she came, and she came. Gould got really, really tense, which is why Muir was able to come back at her. Hodgkinson just didn't have an answer down the last 50 metres. It was an extraordinary way to win that gold medal it really really was well there's the photo finish laura superwoman muir with the arm outstretched brilliant a brilliant race mary mora remember was three tenths of a second behind keely hodgkinson at the world championships last month picking up bronze she's beaten her to the commonwealth title by three tenths of a second and she'd beaten her on the Diamond League circuit this year, so she knew she could do it. But to deny Hodgkinson the gold on her own turf in front of a, a, a hugely passionate crowd, that takes some doing. It was a fast time as well. We're getting excited, of course, about the quality of the race, but a 1.57 clocking. The first four athletes clocked a 1.57, 800 metres there in that final. Laura Muir will go again, of course, in the 1500 metres final. But you saw Keely Hodgkinson glancing up here as she came into the home straight at the big screen. Gould had nothing left. Laura Muir was just digging in. Laura Muir never leaves anything out on the track, neither does Keely Hodgkinson. But look at that finish from the Kenyan. I have never seen an 800 metres one like that before. The women's 800 metres, Kenya picks up gold with Mary Mora, 157.06.